Uh, hey folks, it's Josh with Non-Perishable Marketing, and if you're like me and you're looking for a practical way to modify your computer and uh, make your life simpler, um, you're tr probably looking to change your icons. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Uh, first of all, when you're trying to, if you're trying to make icons um, in Photoshop, what you'll need to do is you just Google this ICO format dot eight bi free download. Click here. Um, that'll bring you to this page. Click the download the latest version. Once you're here, um, just choose the file format. If you're running a Windows like me, click there, download it, um, and then you're going to go to uh, the folder for the file formats in Photoshop and just drop it in there. Um, if you're trying to, let's say, change a, uh, a folder, you'll see you can come here and you click properties. If you're running Windows 7, um, you're missing something. Uh, you're missing this customize button over here. And so um, what what I banged my head against the wall trying to figure out, spent a little bit too much time trying to figure that out, was um, I had to do a lot of research because <laughs> it just pissed me off. So uh, what you got to do is you got to go to my computer, then you have to go to uh, C drive. If you go to your user and then you go to these um, these icons, then uh, you'll be able to click on it, go to properties, and then you get customize. For some reason, these jerk offs at Microsoft <laughs> didn't put the customize button if you go through it the normal way you have to go through your user folder then you can come down here and uh, and change the icon to whatever you want well not to whatever you want it has to be an ICO uh, an icon so you can change it to any of the stuff they have listed here or if you are a person that uses Photoshop and say you got a ton of pictures or whatever and you want to change it you see how this has changed that's the icon for Jing. That's the icon for these other folders I have here. So um, if you use Photoshop, you can take an image and create it as an icon. There you go.